Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles with the Kiwi Apps. We're on step two of our setup with wizard here and uh, we're going to try to explain uh, what the automatic cost import from SKU setting is. Uh, obviously for a repricer to work you need to have a minimum price uh, right here, a rule and the repricer to be on or off. Now for us to calculate this price here we have to have a cost. With that cost, we can calculate your profit goal margin. So for us to enter this cost, it's very cumbersome if you have to go into every single item and have to enter them. So what we've done is we've done some functions that can actually pick up the cost from right out from the SKU name that you put. So in this case, we named this ice tray, ice tray 2.00 and it automatically put the cost here and automatically calculated all your things. Uh, you don't have to uh, to automatically calculate those other things. But for the cost to be automatically entered, right here we selected SKU ends in an n dot n n. So basically a number dot zero zero or whatever um, your 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 SKU pattern is. Uh, you can enter it as a four digit or five digit. In this case, it would have to be um, 200, so 200, and it would be automatically done. And we have it with a comma as well for all folks from uh, Europe. So in this case, we select uh, nn.nn, and what it's going to do is all of the SKU that we name with our cost at the end, or what we think our cost is will be, this number will be automatically populated here. If I do not want to use this feature, I can also just simply put it to disable. So in this case, we're just going to leave it there, and we're going to press next to go to our next setup. Uh, once you've run this wizard, you can also change those options right here. We're inside settings, if you click on this little view here, and default preferences. And here's the setting that we're actually doing, uh, that we're setting through the wizard. And you can see here a little explanation. So I hope this is going to help you uh, set up the settings. And uh, this is it for now for this video. And we're going to do some more video with the next um, scripts.